Members of the Calypso fraternity are happy the government has finally reached out to aid the mighty Sparrow. But one Calypsonian is still asking about their plans for other Calypsonians in trouble. Peter Christopher has more. The Calypso fraternity is happy that the mighty Sparrow will be receiving the nation's highest honor. Speaking after the draw for Calypso Fiesta, President of Chico, Lulata Masimba, better known as Brother of Resistance, says it has been something the organization has long lobbied for. But I think that um, it's a great moment for us in the, the Chimbego Unified Calypso organization. We have been lobbying for the past decade um, for Sparrow to be given the highest award in China, the big one. We say congratulations to the government and to the state of Trinidad Tobago has finally seen the light and the importance of making such an award. And veteran Calypsonian Crew Crew was also elated that the Calypso legend was being honored. Wherever it was done, I, I, I'm not even sure where it was done. All I heard is that they, they, they really, really treat Sparrow financially good as we got and he need, he, he, he need that. Because Sparrow didn't come through any time when money was really playing, you know. You know, no chutney making two million. Kaiso singing for one. Right? Sparrow was entitled to $1,500 and, and $2,500 and thing. So I am really happy. Sparrow is supposed to really, 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 really be treated as he's treated, wherever it is. But he is questioning why more isn't being done for the rest of the Calypso fraternity. I am so happy for Sparrow. My good friend, my father, he's the greatest. Right? But why did the icons come to and not being funded? Why every other tent is being funded? Up to this year, and Coco Icon Sculpture Tent still in the rain. Right? It's like burning down a, 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 an apartment building and Sparrow living in the building. And when you realize Sparrow get burned, you fix Sparrow, but you're supposed to fix the art form. Crow Crow was referring in particular to the struggles faced by his own Calypso tent, Icons, in the absence of government assistance. Sparrow has been a member of that tent for close to a decade. Peter Christopher, C News. Veteran Calypsonian Donrick Williamson, a Lord Funny as he's more popular referred to, Lord's government's initiative to pay the medical expenses for the mighty Sparrow and to honour him with this country's highest award. Of course it is a good thing. I don't see where anybody could criticise that. Yes, well, that's what I think. I think he deserves it. And just as much as, as, as others deserve it also. And also commenting on the awards Sparrow received was Calypsonian and government minister Winston Gypsy Peters. I think that the timing was perfect because Sparrow just came out from death's door, you know. I don't know if people understand that. Sparrow was in a coma for a long time, and he came out. And this, this is a way to say that we are thankful when you're giving somebody something. You can't wait. This is, this is what, this is, we are, we are in February. And, and um, we can't wait until August to give an award like that to, 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 to somebody who just came out or something like that. We want to show.